got something really cool in this one. Have a look at this. This is a newt. And isn't she fantastic? Now newts are really special because they actually don't spend all of their lives in ponds. They spend some of the time in the winter on dry land hibernating. And then they'll come back to the ponds in spring to lay their eggs. But do you know what an animal that spends half its time on land and half its time in the water is called? It's called an amphibian. Right, here I've got all of this vegetable waste that I'm actually going to feed to some worms. Now, that sounds a bit odd, I know, but this is called a wormery. It's basically a house that worms live in. It's designed so that the worms can move up and down through different layers and eat all of this compost food. So, the top layer is where it all happens. This is where I'm going to feed them. And what the worms love to do is eat all of these peelings and turn it into compost. Now, it takes a while, and then because they've got quite a slow way of eating. That looks pretty messy. But if we have a look, I might just, oh, look, here they are. Here are the worms. Now, there are hundreds of them in there. This one is called a tiger worm. And the next one comes from Peru. Now, how would you play this? Would you blow it like a trumpet? <gasps> or do you hit it like a drum? Or do you strum it like a guitar? So how will Piers play this instrument? Will he hit it? Will he blow it? Or will he strum it? Let's find out. Now, castles were built by important people, like kings or lords, and they were built as a safe place against attack from their enemies. So if you were going to build a castle, where do you think the best place for it would be? Do you build it down in the bottom of the valley, or perhaps high on the top of a hill? What do you think? So where would the best place to build a castle be? Down in the bottom of a valley or up high on the top of a hill? Let's find out. Well, Stafford Castle was built on the top of a high hill like this. So the fourth fact that we're going to tell you about is that sea lions such as Callum eat meat, so they're called carnivores. Now, can anybody guess what Callum's favourite food is? So what do you think is Callum's favourite food? Do you think it's bananas or maybe ice cream? Or what about fish? Let's find out. You probably have guessed it and Callum's favourite food is fish, isn't that right Callum? We're here at Sir Seven's Tower. Sir Seven, can you tell me what's I'm missing? Yes, well, I was polishing my seven helmets when I went out to feed my seven hamsters. When I came back, there were only four helmets. And whenever Piers goes on an expedition, he always makes sure he has four things with him. Number one. The most important is water. You always need water to drink. And when it's hot, you need even more water. But even in somewhere where it's really wet, like a rainforest, you still need to make sure that you have got your own supply of clean, pure drinking water. Absolutely vital. Now the seventh and final thing that a knight needed was nothing that he wore on his body or used to fight with. It was all about the way he behaved. A knight had to be chivalrous. Now you might not have heard that word before, but really being chivalrous is just being kind and helpful to other people. The final animal I have for you today is my royal python called Zack. Unlike the other animals that you've seen today, his body is covered in scales. 
So what do you think he'd feel like to touch? Slimy? No, he's very smooth. His skin is actually made out of the same material as human fingernails.